Hey, what's up guys? It's Lawrence. Thanks for stopping by my channel. If you like what you see, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks. Hey, what's happening out there, everybody? This is Lawrence Ross. Read about this, and this is just completely ridiculous. This is an example of political correctness gone completely haywire. All right, let's get into this real quick. Elmer Fudd, the beloved cartoon character, guy from Looney Tunes. His gimmick is, <clears throat> be very, very quiet. I'm hunting for rabbits. Uh, well, he's hunting for rabbits now, but not with a rifle. No, with a scythe or a sith. Like a sword, basically. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? And they say that it's in response to recent gun violence in the United States. So let me see if I got this straight. Elmer Fudd, he's not allowed to use a gun. But when you read the article, they continue to say that they'll have the other cartoony violence. They'll have TNT, anvils, the Acme stuff. But Elmer Fudd has to swap out his iconic rifle for a sword? Are you kidding me? That doesn't work at all. It doesn't have the same punch. It doesn't have the same effect. And it's and it's complete and it's complete and it's hypocrisy. It is total hypocrisy. You can't have Elmer Fudd with a rifle, but you can have Wile E. Coyote uh, set up a booby trap of TNT and Roadrunner just happens to miss it by a nanosecond and they have a chase and then they punch the clock and they do it all over again the next day. Yeah, you can have TNT, you can have an anvil falling on someone. Oh, but Elmer Fudd with a rifle? Oh, no, that's not good. So, what kind of precedent does that set? Does that mean we're going to have to get rid of shows like South Park because it has guns? Does that mean that we're going to have to scrap the episode Weight Gain 4000 because it shows the Mr. Garrison character with a personal vendetta against Kathy Lee Gifford because he was upstaged by her in a talent show, so he goes to hunt her down with a gun? Are we going to have to X, you know, are we going to have to X that episode from the annals of history, apparently? That seems to be where it seems to be going. I mean, what is next? Are they going to recut all the James Bond movies but take away his, uh, you know, uh, but, but take away his martini that he like shaken, not stirred. Are they gonna Are they gonna update The Simpsons to digitally alter Bart Simpson's slingshot to something else? I mean, if you start editing that, what is next? What is next, folks? Are the advertising people at Pringles, not sponsored by the way, are they going to Are they going to try and convince the Mr. Pringles guy to shave off his mustache because? It's offensive to people who have extremely fa uh, uh, hairy faces. What is next? What kind of precedent does this set? I am vehemently against anyone who tries to alter history, trying to alter things so it can suit them. Because it seems as if something I've, something I've picked up is that art is basically freedom of human expression. And there are people who like it, and there are people who don't like it. And the people who don't like it, if they complain enough, then eventually, I don't know why the creators caved to them, I think the creators should stand up and say, no, we are not changing this. We're keeping it in, and that is that, that is the intent of the, that is the intent of what it is we are doing. Now, if the creator has a personal problem with it, if the creator looks back at it and goes, eh, you know, I don't feel comfortable having this in the final product, well then, I'll make the decision to edit that out. Here's something I've been thinking about. If we had to consider everyone's emotions when it comes to art, we probably wouldn't have art. We probably wouldn't have paintings because people would complain that paintings don't necessarily represent a true person. Somebody would complain that the picture is a little over-exaggerated. Well, in any form of art, you need a little bit of an over-exaggeration. I don't care what it is. A painting, a drawing, 
uh, a song, uh, a TV show, movies, performing in the theater, that sort of thing, Broadway. You have to have a little bit more of a flair so that people will remember the product. And so then that way they'll be able to tell their friends, hey, I saw this really awesome play last night on 4th Street. It was really awesome. You know, you know, uh, the costumes are a little elaborate, but that's the point. That's the point, man. You kind of have to amp it up a little bit, folks. You just have to. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all I got on that one. I'm Lawrence Ross. Hey, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, it's Lawrence. Well, that's the end of the video, but before I go, I want to thank you guys for checking out the content. If you like, you can check out my radio show every Friday evening at 7 p.m. on RazRadioLive.com. That's R-A-S, RadioLive.com, RadioChaos.net, and in this case, it's Chaos with a K, K-A-O-S, RadioChaos.net or NoNameNetwork.net. It's called the LRWS, and check it out. We also have a store, teespring.com, T-E-E, spring.com, forward slash stores, forward slash LRWS. And if you want, you can check out my Patreon page, patreon.com, forward slash LRoss1987. Thanks for watching.